playing hard. Uh, one thing I do well, I never give up. You know, I know that I missed the free throws, that I should have made them, but I got to keep playing. Thank God we got the win tonight. Down the stretch, we play really hard. We play defensively, we play really hard. Thank God we got the win. You've been aggressive this entire season, 37, 34, now 44 points. But in that fourth quarter, there was an opportunity where you took seven straight points. Was that the mama mentality of this is closing time, it's time to go ahead and bury them? I don't know. I just tried to play hard. I just tried to keep making plays. And thank God I made some buckets too. Uh, but most important, as I said, we got the win. It's not about no mentality. It's we got the win tonight. And finally for you, Giannis, both teams, second game of a back-to-back, -back, a lot of energy expended. What was the key you think that got you guys over the top? We play hard. We stay together. And that's what we do as a team. We got to stay together no matter if we're tired, no matter if it's a back-to-back. -back. We got to play hard. And we got to try to do whatever it takes to get the W. Well, Kobe Bryant is the one who told him to go out and get the MVP. These are MVP-like numbers and really remarkable. John Schumann from NBA.com pointed out that of the 115 points he scored so far through three games, only 11 of them have come outside the paint, which reinforces what I just said during the highlight. He goes wherever he likes and gets there and is successful there. It's amazing, Matt, because... We sit up here at the desk a lot of times. We try to nitpick some of these young, this young talent and say, oh, you got to work on your jump shot. You need to shoot more threes. But until you stop this young man of getting to the paint, why? Obviously, late game, he talked about he missed those two free throws. He gets mad at himself. He doesn't sulk, Matt. He goes out and gets a steal and blocks a shot to kind of make up for the missed free throws. But as he continues to work on his game, like he said, working hard, that's a big-time steal going down the stretch without fouling and then one dribble getting all the way to the rim to ice the game. So you love the fact that he's watching tape, he's listening to Jason Kidd, he's listening to the coaching staff, he's getting better and better each game. And now when Kobe says he'll get MVP, Durant said he had a chance to be the best player ever, he listens to that stuff but gets into the gym, not right. just read the newspaper. So you really applaud the young man really putting in the work. He's clearly done the work, but to the point about taking more threes, mm -hmm. why force it at this oh. point? He took four in this game, which means he was 16 of 19 from two-point range. So when you look at the threes taken, if it's out of the flow of the offense, swing, swing, you're on the weak side of the floor, you catch and shoot it, I don't think anyone's going to be mad. You do not want him to get a rebound, now start coming down and being like James Harden of the world and shooting that transition three. Continue to attack your man, continue to get to the rim. And if he winds up in that MVP conversation, that's the sequence that's right. right there that they'll yes. be running at the end of the that's year. Right. They've already got it. All the networks can just cue that up and hold on to it until March and April when we're having these conversations.